Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone that rule well and taught us this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, preaching this word and this doctrine and truth, honesty and sincerity. Shalom. I'm the brother Chakam from the Great Millstone Miami camp, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai to make this video and this lesson and Lord willing to be edifying. All right, as y'all can see, I got a Instagram post pulled up here from Lil Duval, all right, which he is a comedian. All right, he's a comedian and he's a jake. Um, and this is what he's uh posting. Check this out. Right now, y'all saying F that microchip, but eventually you gon' get it. Just like everything else you swear you would never do. Alright, then there's the second slide. If they can convince half the country into getting the juice in less than a year, they can convince you to get chipped inside of you. Well, convince you into wanting a chip inside of you. And, um, guess what, Lil Duval? You are correct. <laughs> All right. You are correct there. He's 100% correct. And, um, you know, before I get some precepts, this goes to show how close we are to getting the hell up out of here. All right. All right. When you start seeing, you got to pay close attention to these things. When you start seeing, all right, these high level comedians, all right posting about the sea hip you know that this thing is about to be finished all right we are almost out of here all right and um obviously you know they're gonna send out uh one of these uh you know a comedian because what esau wants to do he's gonna set up a comedian to introduce the um you know the idea of the sea hip to the public all right and it's gonna be in a in a humorous kind of uh way and not in a serious kind of way all right because esau know how to get jake all right and he knows how to get these other uh um individuals here that are inhabiting babylon all right and the rest of the world okay so esau which is the devil man he's gonna send out the comedians to start desensitizing the public into thinking this thing is normal and how do we know that how do you know this is the damn devil because if you go in the comments people are taking this thing as a damn joke all right which i'm not going to go and do that but you know which you can check for yourself if no willing this post is still up which was posted about a day ago a lot of people here taking this stand this thing as a damn joke man but they have no idea that this is actually a prophecy of the Bible. All right. This is prophecy of the Bible. And this this is how you know this is the devil. Because like I said, if you go into the comments, everybody is kind of joking around. Treating this thing as a humorous thing. Just kind of laughing about it. You know, throwing emoji saying, oh yeah, I'm going to take it. And um, you know, it's it's. I can't wait to be an entrepreneur and being able to just have convenience and you know people think people taking this thing as a damn joke man some of them are even saying well i'm not gonna get c-hipped i'm not gonna take it no matter what i'm still unvaxxed and i'm not gonna yeah well i hope they don't take the video down because i just said that but i'm not um juiced i'm not juiced up <laughs> and i'm not gonna take this c-hip but the scriptures don't say that it's up to you all right but Let's get to the precepts real quick to let you guys know that this is prophecy of the Bible, all right? And once you start seeing these comedians, all right, get ready to see more celebrities push this thing till it gets to the point where it's going to become reality. And what I mean by that is you're going to have the person working with you talking about this thing, like if it's just a regular thing, all right? So now what we're seeing is the introduction, the, the sensitizing, all right, of the C-hip. Okay, and the Esau is going to be, they're going to be doing it with these celebrities, all right? They're going to first, obviously, you know, send out Jake, okay? Don't be surprised next if you have Kevin Hart, 
all right then football players and or other sports stars okay and then musics then the music celebrities and musicians and whatnot man we saw how this thing happened how this thing went down with with with, with the juice all right but let's get the scriptures. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all who's a he, Esau, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, and what is that mark? That is the karagma. All right. Well, the karagma, the root word for the karagma is karax, which goes into steak. All right. And if you look up what a steak is, it's something pointy. All right. So it only makes sense that this mark that it's talking about is not a damn tattoo, all right? And if you think it is a tattoo and if you think that it's okay to get a tattoo, guess what the scripture says? You're not supposed to be getting tattoos anyways. It's not sin. It's not an embargo because those individuals who be brought out those doctrines, guess what? They're already switching up. First it said it was embargo and then it was uh, now a sin, all right? So what is that mark? Okay, that mark is a physical implant that is going to be placed inside of you, either in your hand or in your forehead. And if you don't believe me, go into the, go, just go on Google and look up what Elon Musk, all right, and the FDA have agreed upon, all right? The FDA has officially agreed upon the human trials for the Neuralink uh, brain implant, okay, which... If you go into the article, it's going to be an actual implant inside the cranium going into the brain tissue, okay? Which is what? An introduction to this prophecy. It's getting to the point where it's right in front of our faces and we cannot deny it anymore, all right? And for those scoffers out there that want to say the mark is this, the mark is that, well, I don't believe it's the mark, I don't believe the C hip is the mark, well, you know what? We're going to see. All right. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. So this devil, all right, he's going to make this mark mandatory. The C hip is going to become mandatory to the point where if you want to go and you want to buy some milk, at the grocery store water eggs whatever it is if you want to survive and eat you have to take this mark okay you have to take the chip and those and if you go back into the you know this instagram post over here there's some individuals here saying that it's the cell phone that is the mark <laughs> if it's a cell phone then all right you're still able to buy and sell without a cell phone okay because you got credit cards you got cash all right you can pay with a um a watch a smart watch so it's not the cell phone either okay it is the c hip a micro tip that's what that is all right and the word micro means very small okay the word micro chip means very small all right, and for those scoffers out there that say, well, the RFID is old technology. Why would Esau want to use old technology to, hey, guess what? Esau does not care if it's old or new technology. It just has to be efficient, all right, convenient for Esau, and it has to work. That's all. Okay, and the RFID technology is already works. Who came up with the idea if it's already, why would you fix something that's not broken? Okay. So the RFID technology is all this devil needs, man. Okay. Let's get Revelation chapter 3 verse 10. Because this thing, this thing is becoming real, all right? Celebrities are starting to come out now. And it's becoming mainstream. All right? But who's really going to keep us from actually taking this C-hip? And when I mean us, I'm talking about the nation of Israel. Okay, because deliverance is only for Israel, all right, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Because a lot of his, those individuals in those comments are saying, I'm not taking it, I'm not taking it. Well, guess what? It's not up to you. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also, keyword, I also, who is I? Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, all right? 
the Most High and His beloved Son. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And what is that hour of temptation? That is when this devil is going to make this sea head mandatory. All right, it's going to become mandatory in order to be able to buy, sell, eat, go to work, make payments. Okay, this thing is at our front door and it's knocking hard. <laughs> All right, we already got the Fed now that's going to be established in June 1st. Okay, which if you don't know what that is, look that up. All right, it's going to be the processing server for um, payments, which is going to be um, connected to central banking digital currency. All right going to be the processing platform in order to send money all right real-time payments okay so this devil is showing signs that he's ready to to make this thing come true all right we've seen the little steps that this devil is doing man and we're seeing everything come to play and it's ultimately to uh fulfill prophecy and make this thing mandatory okay because that is what this devil wants all right you got someone named aaron russo that had a conversation all right with the one of one of the rothschilds or rockefeller elites i believe and um you know take a look in that take a look at that video when you get a chance and he's going into how these elites all right they were trying to you know pretty much gave him the the agenda that which what they want to do all right they want to get everybody see hip man and if you don't and if you still don't believe me look up a video called Watch out for 666 on YouTube, okay? Everything is right in front of our face at this point, you know? And if you can't get it, then it's because the Lord blinded you, all right? And we'll move on to those who are going to get it because this thing, only the elect are going to be the, be able to get delivered. So like if I was rambling on, but um, let me finish this precept here. I'll start off on the top again, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I was, I will... I also, all right, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, because when you take this sea hit, man, this this judgment that's going to unfold, okay, there is judgment that is going to be dished out by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, let's get that. <clears throat> this is Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, okay, and receive his mark, there goes the mark, all right, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. Okay, so you're going to be destroyed by nuclear fire and you're going to be destroyed by the by the UFO laser beams, okay? Which when the Lord Yahweh, Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, which is going to come, he's going to come back in his great glory and those UFOs, all right, he's going to destroy all these other nations, all right, and he's going to destroy these two-thirds, all right, with fire, because that's what this earth is reserved unto for judgment, fire, okay? That is a second death. So there is a judgment if you take this, uh, this mark, okay? Revelation chapter 16, I'm going to get verse... I'll start from the top. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the vials of wrath of the Most High upon the earth. All right. And those vials. Okay. That's judgment that the Lord has set up for the inhabitants of the earth. Okay. The seven vials. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image, all right? So this is going to be another judgment that the Lord is going to place upon those individuals that are going to take that mark, all right? Because that, um, you know, that sore, or I want to say sore there, on verse 2, okay, these individuals got to take this RFID chip, all right? They're going to be taking in uh, radio, uh, radioactive technology, and they're going to be placed it under the skin, all right? And, um, you know, you're not supposed to be putting foreign objects, 
especially uh um radio uh you know these RFID technology you know stuff into your body okay because that's that is radiation just like how you know you're not supposed to have a laptop place on top of your uh lap for an extended period of time because it emits radiation well guess what this is the same thing and there's no different all right so these men all right they're going to be having physical sores on their body and they're going to be able and this devil's going to be able to tell who took that chip okay and it says upon them which worshipped his image all right what is that image the image is it's really just the reincarnation of the roman empire okay which is really what america is america is just a reincarnated roman empire all right so the lord has set up judgment for this uh specific um prophecy all right which is taking that sea hip and going back to this post all right you see how little duval is over here talking about the sea hip this thing is becoming reality you could tell that we almost at the end of this thing because now we got to see which other celebrity is going to be talking about this next all right it's becoming realistic this is the book of job chapter 21 verse 10 21 verse 30 Salakia. Job chapter 21 verse 30 That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath Okay so The wicked are going to take that That, that sea hip Well not all of the wicked Because there are going to be some individuals That are actually not going to take the sea hip But if they're not part of the elect, it doesn't matter. They're still going to get judged by the Most High. Because only the elect is going to be able to get delivered out of this thing. But the Lord has set up judgment for the wicked. Alright, and those wicked are going to be taking that sea hip. Alright, a lot of our people, these two-thirds are going to be taking that sea hip. Alright, and you got smart ones in there in those comments. Like I was mentioning before. Confident that they was not going to take that. How do you know that? See, because the thing is, a lot of these Americans, they have not, they have not starved, really. Watch when you starve Jake. When you starve Jake, that's when they're going to be running, all right, to these FEMA camps or whatever it is, these government agencies to get chipped. When Jake opened his fridge and there's only but crumbs of ice falling from the freezer, all right, and there's nothing on there and the only thing to eat is a damn cat. That's when Jake is going to start realizing, damn, maybe I can get the sea hip and you know what? I got to eat because I'm starving. Because once you starve a human being, you lower them to the most primitive form that exists. And they'll do anything and willing to do everything and anything to be able to put a piece of damn crumb, crumb in their stomach. All right, you change when you start starving. All right, but the elect are not going to take this thing. All right, the elect are not going to take that sea hip and they're going to get delivered out of this uh, captivity, man, which is Babylon and as well as the four corners of the earth. This is Second Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. All right, going back to that um, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. It says the Lord does it, not ourselves. How about Hashem Shai? And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. All right. So the wicked, all right, the unjust, the unrighteous are going to be punished. All right. And they're going to get that judgment, which whether it's going to be by the sword. All right. The, the dogs. It might be star starvation, famine. It might be a nuke. It might be a UFO. Whatever it is, the Lord going to put your judgment as already set up from the beginning. All right. So only the elect, only the... The godly, okay? And who is the godly? The elect. This thing only comes down to the elect. It's not about waking up the whole nation. It's not about waking up a nation. All right? Or, or going outside these damn churches and doing a church blitz and trying to recruit trying to recruit as many people as possible. All right? The Lord, the scripture says, my, my sheep hear my voice. 
And that's all the Lord needed to set up because the elect are really destined from the beginning to be part of the elect. All right. You don't have to go around the whole entire state to state trying to vacuum up people and, and into your congregation because that's not what the Lord told us to do. All right. The elect are not going to take that shit, man. The elect are going to be delivering. And Lord willing, I am part of that number. Okay. So going back to this post, man. All right. So you got Lil Duval out here posting about the c hip. This thing is becoming reality. It is becoming mainstream information, mainstream talk. Okay. Look how many likes. Look how many comments. All right. So we got the end of this thing, man. All right. Babylon is finished. We just got to wait. You know, till Jacob's trouble and make this thing uh, mandatory and then wait for that third world war and get the hell up out of here, man. Lowell and we are part of that number. All right, but this this makes me happy right here. This puts a smile on my face because I know this is just one step closer to the destruction of Babylon and the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, so I believe I hit my points. Lowell and this lesson was edifying. Until the next one, Shalom.